All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're painting from the heart and we're fighting the battles. Uh, we're still working on our sky. It's still a little bit wet, so we're going to keep throwing paint into it. I grabbed some more cerulean blue, uh, which to me is a good sky color. I want, to, I, want, I want to really get a good blue sky color painted in this. So that paint under is still wet, so it's just kind of blending into it. I just kind of roll that in there and bring it down to our other colors. And I'll get that in there, see. Trying to cover a lot of area in a short period of time. Put some more water in my brush, which will really help you do it. Get this over here. The ultramarine blue really didn't give me the color I wanted. It made it kind of too purple. So now I've put some more of this cerulean blue in here with this, that white, so it will lighten it some. And just kind of blend all this together. Look down into here, behind these trees, because sky's got to be behind the trees. And My brush is a little bit dry, so I just make no strokes. There we go. Now that'll smooth it out. You got to keep a little bit of water on your brush. And down here, just kind of smooth it. We learn by doing, and eventually you'll pick up the right way to do it. So, I mean, just I hope you can see a lot we learn as we go. We just pick up the brush and see if we can make something happen. See if we can make it work. A little more water in our brush, and just get it on there. Smooth all this out here. Get it smooth, get it smooth, get it smooth. It was just a clear, clear day. A lot of strokes showing. We'll pass more water and see if I can smooth this out a little bit. Kind of apply all these together. More water, just little touches of water on your brush. See how it kind of moves it all, blend it all together a little bit. Moves it together, my sure stress down behind those trees, and we'll put them trees back on top of it. Here behind the silo. A little bit more water. Pull it all together. Need to stand up to just so I can see what's going on here. But I can see there. Let's see what's coming through a little bit. A little more blue in this area. And just put it on cross hatch it just different ways, different directions. It's about the way it was, wasn't it? It was gorgeous. It's one of those days. It was just a good day to be outside painting, having a good time. So we go sit out there in them green grass and paint these pictures. Mike needs to bring his guitar along. He can play music while we're painting. So we like one of them orchestra things. To, what they call it when two or three play chamber pot music? <laughs> one I don't called. think it's called chamber pot. I believe uh, it. well, something like that. It, it might just be pot music. I'm not sure. But it's, uh, we could sit out there in them cow pastures and sing to the cows, couldn't we? <laughs> it's what? called chamber music, right? Oh, I thought it was something that had to do with pot. But that might have been back in the 60s. You know, yeah, who knows? That'll do for now for a sky. We've kind of wrapped that in a little bit. That'll give us the sky a look. I'm guessing. There we go. Tell you what I'm going to do. We'll get rid of this big brush. Get in a little bit smaller one. Get, pick up some of this burnt sienna here. Let's get our silo drawn back in a little bit. Like this burnt sienna. Just, just, you know, and even leaf colors on the trees. See? Now they're green. 
we want some of that in the back here in the background and colors. We'll end up with the green on top, but I like colors in those trees that are back in there. Warm colors. We'll get something in there. We're gonna catch that silo. Let's get to work on that. Those silos are pretty neat things right there. And this was a big one. Or for this neighborhood. This is where they put all the cow feed. They raise their own corn, they put it in here to have it to feed the cows in the winter. Fatten them cows up. Yeah, you get it on here. It kind of it's around, so it pull your strokes the shape of the, the shape it would be. And we're still trying to, we're gonna draw it back on here now kind of lost it with all this other paint. Had that, remember they got that round top on it? Let's get that shape kind of put back on there. What the shape was. Had that dark place down through there. Had to kind of old rusty roof, which we'll take care of in a little bit, but it's kind of draw out. Get some of that put back in here. Well, that might have been on that tree line there. Yes, sir. Let's see, now we're not out there in the field actually looking at it. This is just kind of we're playing with this stuff. We're kind of seeing it and like a little bit of that red and cut in here, that little darker color and kind of get a little bit more in there. I want depth. I want depth in those trees. You only get it by having different colors. And right there along that ground line, we want it darker right here at the ground where the, the sun's hitting on the trees but it's not getting under the trees. And that's why it's always darker right down by the green. These will be the trees that are back in the distance. We have darker trees more in the foreground. Now I changed. I was using the uh, burnt sienna and I just threw some uh, we're all seeing in there, it just gives a little bit different color. Like the sun's hitting over here. So remember the sun's coming from over here on this side. So we're hitting those trees on that side over here. So we'll make sure we catch that effect, see. So now I know that it's going to be dark on this side, the sun's coming from over here. And on our silo, we want to catch that light over here. I'm just kind of patting it on there, on the top where it's kind of hitting there. And the top is actually more of a metal color, a light metal, but this is different there. And it had that black tube run right down through here. I'm not a farmer, so I'm not sure what all was in there, but must have been a reason it did that. So I'm going to get a little bit more red back into this over here. Maybe a farmer will see it, perhaps, and we'll send us a, an email or something on our website and tell us why they do that. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Somebody man. knows, if you let us know. Yeah, we're not farmers. We, we, we just need to paint no farms. We think they look neat. The rings of the silo coming down. I'm just trying to draw it again, get it back on here a little bit. We're going to move it around. We're going to move big paint on top and around. Different, several different ways. So we're getting our picture back on here and we'll keep working it. Y'all come.